Tawana, a real pleasure to meet you. Nice to meet you as well, Pat. Thanks for having me. Now, Tawana, you were kind of recently installed as the CEO of American uh, Clean Resources Group. What's been your biggest challenge so far? Um, like any new CEO coming in and uh, getting to know all the players and just kind of wrapping your arms around who's who and uh, ensuring that people know that I'm here, uh, not just to, to lead the company, but also to help uh, the team realize the vision that they were working on before I, be I came on board. Hey, let's talk about that team because you put together what is called an environmental sustainability board. How is that going to influence, do you think, your strategic direction, especially when it comes to things like smart mining and, and waste and energy, those spaces? Um, you know, well, I'm a firm believer, Pat, uh, in surrounding myself with people um, that are knowledgeable and, and proven um, everything from mining uh, to renewable energy, as well as finance. And so I hope that the board's collective expertise uh, will play a crucial role in how we shape up the strategic direction for the organization, um, you know, specifically in smart mining and waste to energy technologies. Um, but I really hope to just lean into their guidance to ensure that a lot of the projects that we're kind of kicking around are not only aligned with the latest environmental standards, um, but also set new benchmarks for innovation um, in the fields that we are looking to uh, to to change, you know, water, uh, land, and clean air. Okay, let's talk about some of those projects because they play into that theme. Uh, the well water purchase agreement you made with the road and highway builders, this is in the state of Nevada. Uh, How is that going to impact your operations? Um, well, I think the first thing uh, for me, you know, not that it was a, a massive contract by uh, by any means, but um, it was important to demonstrate that we had the ability to mobilize um, and get um, the well, uh, well water purchase agreement um, active and be able to to supply the water. Um, you know, at the end of the day, when I think about um, our intent uh, to be more sustainable, uh, working with um, this particular project demonstrates that they can be less reliant on municipal water supplies, uh, which can often be strained during peak usage periods. Um, and by shifting to um, a partnership with us um, demonstrates that when those other constraints are in place, we're ensuring that it remains available. Um, and, you know, I would also probably share that, you know, it can be replenished naturally. And so when using well water, you know, under a carefully managed condition, it assures that water levels and surrounding ecosystems are maintained without depleting those resources. So it aligns perfectly with the narrative, you know, around our mantra of cleaning up America while rebuilding America. Um, and so we were really, really pleased that they reached out um, to us for that. Is Are you going to use it as kind of a model for working with other states? Um, I don't know that it will use it for working with other states, giving our um, our geography, but we do hope that there will be others um, that have projects or initiatives um, that are in proximity to us that reach out, you know, by um, sourcing water closer to construction sites um, via well water systems, it reduces the need to transport large quantities of water over long distances. And so we hope that the reduction in transportation not only de decreases from a logistical cost, but also cuts down on fuel consumption um, and any associated carbon emissions that contribute, you know, to a smaller uh, carbon footprint for um, their construction initiatives. I'm looking at some of your uh, innovative techniques, if you will, in financing, in particular, your federal tax credits, and you're transferring those federal tax credits to individual investors. How do you see that uh, working for you? Is it, is it, uh, more a, a case of relations with investors? You know, one of, the, I mean, obviously we have them, right? And I think that's probably the most important um, uh, new um, uh, scenario where for the first time ever, these tax credits have been democratized. And so we, we look at it really as um, being designed to enhance the attractiveness and financial viability of the renewable energy project. 
And so um, it's still a fluid situation. It is still very early on. Um, but our build out is over a $3 billion build out, which puts us in a position of controlling a, approximately a billion to a billion and a half. Um, and those are, you know, we're looking at various tangible economic benefits, but we do believe that the approach will not only accelerate the project timeline, but will also boost investor confidence and commitment, which obviously is a crucial uh, part of rapid deployment um, of the of the project. Let's talk about your acquisition strategy overall as well, because you recently announced the uh, acquisition of Swiss community. I believe that's the pronunciation. Who mm -hmm. are they and what do they bring to the table? Sure. Um, so Swiss is um, an organization that was born out of a collaboration or partnership, if you will, with the University of Louisville um, in Louisville, Kentucky, um, which is actually where I reside. Um, while the project is in Tonopah, Nevada, and we are headquartered in Lakewood, um, my home um, is in Kentucky. And so um, being able to, one, um, support our local university, as well as a, a budding entrepreneurship um, entity um, was very attractive. Um, but essentially, I mean, they align perfectly with ACRG's long-term vision for environmental sustainability and their innovative technology and water quality improvement are really critical, one of the critical areas of our strategy. Um, because not only uh, is this a technology, you know, that we feel um, will become um, sought after as it relates to a lot of the water security um, initiatives or issues that I should say that are arising here as of late, um, but it also will enhance community engagement and environmental stewardship. And so, you know, we aim to deploy Swiss's um, water treatment technologies across our operations, uh, which will help significantly in reducing pollutants, um, notifying uh, homeowners or residents um, if there is a water emergency, and hopefully, um, you know, improve local water quality and strengthening community relations. So we do see it as a very strategic um, initiative, and we are continuing to invest in the build out of that platform and its capabilities. And so um, we really do feel that the move underscores our commitment to not just corporate growth, um, but also to ecological and social responsibility as well. I want to let's talk about your future a little bit, um, because, you know, renewable energy is uh, hot in the news and sustainability, environmental sustainability is hot in the news. Where do you see your focus as far as key projects or acquisition will be in the future? Um, well, in uh, on the waterfront, um, there are some additional um, organizations that we are eyeing. Uh, I will say that water, pure water, uh, water quality overall is is ext extremely important. Um, as it relates to um, exploring new projects and partnerships um, that will enhance our leadership in the renewable energy sector, um, we have several um, upcoming initiatives that we are discussing right now with our advisory board um, to identify some pilots and whether that'll be um, uh, specifically around the solar energy expansion and green retrofitting of ex existing facilities, whether that will be different battery storage um, and, and solar energy energy development. Um, we're just particularly excited that we control an asset um, that has a lot of potential um, for not just cleaning up um, public and private lands, but doing so in a carbon neutral, in a carbon neutral manner. Juana, well, sounds exciting. Thanks so much for your time and uh, come back and tell us about more that happens. Absolutely. Absolutely. Again, Pat, thanks for having me.